Clocko Blocko here, checking out a game called Him to the Earless God. Let's get into it. But ow. You start off, you've got four different characters you can choose from. We go with the guy on the left. I think it's a different story depending on who you choose. So really you've got four different stories you can play. I'd like to try that samurai guy on the, on the east side of the screen or the, the right. Your character is a slave. It works in this mine. <laughs> Basically, you have to battle every day to be alive and survive. If you're not producing, then you get killed or you die and they eat you. For now, you're still alive. This is your leader up here. Sits in a big chair and makes judgments. When they dispose of you, they throw you in that pit. Days, weeks, months, years. Swing the axe. Push the stone. Devour the weak. <laughs> Our empire will be vast. One day you're hauling logs or rocks or whatever it is and you collapse. Then you wake up to some voices. Did you look at that? Ain't even no noon and we got lunch already. Lunch. That's just pox. Hardly enough for a snack. Foods, foods, what I say. Fancy an arm? You can eat that anytime. Stringy, slinky crap. All gristle, no meat. The eye meat. That's the stuff I like. So you grab all your strength and tell them to screw off. I can still work. I can still make our empire great. Hey, Pox. Snacks don't talk back. What can you do? Hardly swing an axe. Hardly lift a stone. Too small to matter. Too weak to breed. You've been dead for months. Your brain's just too dumb to get it. You know how it is. Devour the weak. We'll see who's weak. So, your first combat scenario is to save your life so they don't eat you. Got a pretty good soundtrack. Oh shit, they're gonna beat me. Somehow you survive in this battle no matter what. One down, and then he ate the other one. So I guess grit is what keeps you alive, something like that. 
collapse. When you awake, you're at the pit. They're ready to throw you down. You have to talk to the leader. I'll give you the thumbs up or the thumbs down. Is it true? Were you once a slave like me? Silence, weakling. Your tongue is only for cleaning the scum from the sludge hole. All Varric begin their lives chewing through the rot of the world tree. Every one of us carves out a greater home for our descendants so that one day we will release an indestructible army that will make the calamity of the jerks warm pale in comparison. Every remaining being on gloom will bear our blood. Yes, I was once a slave, like all Varric. Like all Varric, I was given the chance to butcher my way to the top. But I was never like you. Ah. A fresh one. Feel its head. Nice and firm, this one. Not a bit of the rot. Tough to crack, but inside it's ripe and sweet. I know it. Queen Agni has been good to us. Beware. It moves. So you wake up and you're in this pit. I'll sever the next filthy hand that touches me. People are about to eat you, but you tell them to scram. This place reeks. Where am I? The bowels of the world tree. Who are you? We're sick with the rot. Too weak to work. Too disfigured. There's been a mistake. I'm nothing like you. Queen Agony is wrong. I'll raise my own army. The Varric Horde will cower before us. You'll be my first soldiers. Then I will leave this wretched place. I'll find others. Three limbs, three choices, defeated. Fight, sleep. Leave, wonder. Stay, scourge. They were just talking too fast. I couldn't keep up with them. So this is where you start out. It's kind of a, a little ghetto at the bottom of the world. Lots of weirdos down here, disformed, disfigured creatures that are out to eat you or scam you or hurt you. One down, but you die. Devoured. We can't use ankle cutter. We can defend. Then we realize we can devour them. That'll save us a little bit. When you devour them, you get XP and you get your HP back. We get some new clothes. Usually those holes with eyes in them, you can go and talk to it, and you'll either get a battle or maybe somewhere to crawl into and find some loot. There's this guy up here, he's trying to block the way. You don't really want to engage him because he's 
a one hit kill, so he'll just kill you. Something you will want to do in this game is save often, because you will die. So we were in a bit of a loop, so we needed to figure something out. Load it up here. There's a little village over here. If you try and attack these guys, they'll they'll all gang up and kill you. There's this one up here that's pretty weak. You could probably kill, but then the rest will kill you. There's not really much in this area. I think later in the game, these statues will become important. You can use them. Decide to get rid of this one. He's outside the village, so it doesn't matter as much. After you beat them, you usually devour them and get XP and HP at the end of the battle. But you can also devour them during battle. This has been Him to the Earless God, a heart-pumping, turn-based RPG with great atmosphere. Check out the game below via the link in the description. <laughs> so you've got a small area to explore in this demo. The game's not out yet, unfortunately, but uh, it's a decent little demo. Wish it was longer, but uh, you do get a feel for the game. Get those clothes again. Save the game. We head back the way we came to see if we missed anything. There's this guy over here. Doesn't really give you the option to join forces with any of these creatures. I don't know if later in the game you can... You can uh, become allies, but for now all you can do is devour them and absorb their strength into your own.
Thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to check out more games, subscribe and check back. I play RPGs, indie games, and oddball games. See you on the next one. Another battle down, we head south. There's another entry over here to the left. Down here you'll find some loot and some creatures. Going into battle. Got like a beetle looking creature thing and some slime goblins. Slime goblin is down and that's your chance to devour the slime, or not slime goblin, the beetle skeleton is down. So we can devour him. I'm not totally sure how the poison works in this game because it never really seemed to affect us. Maybe you get mutations based on the amount of poison that you have absorbed. Hard to say. I know that all the creatures we're fighting seem to be mutated in some way. We get a new helmet, but then they attack us. One down. Do we devour him? Yes. And we hit this one and win the battle. Some more loot. Grave dirt. I thought they did a pretty good job of building an atmosphere in the game. Because there's no poison meter or anything. Saving again. Get some more loot. We get a cursed artifact. Thought it was maybe a relic. Once you go to this hole, your gameplay ends. So we load it up where we saved.
go in that hole. We've pretty much explored everywhere, except for the eyeballs. That one you can't go into, or I guess you can. Kind of reminded me of uh, Hunter x Hunter when there are the bugs that when they eat the humans or whatever they eat, they start to incorporate some of that DNA into their mutant bug DNA and then they turn into kind of like a chimera, but they're like super strong and eventually there's one that's mega strong and he's like the prince and that's who they have to battle pretty good series hunter x hunter if you've never watched it before although that wasn't my favorite arc in the story what happens when you don't follow their rules. Pretty good. At this point we're just looking for secrets because we played most of the demo. It's a pretty short demo unfortunately. Can't go in that one.
We figure we go out on in a bang and we talk to this guy. One hit kill. That's the end of the demo. It's a pretty cool game. I think you should check it out at once it comes out or play the demo like I did. This has been Him to the Earless God.